what are some of the important elements into shift, both in terms of you see the timing is right, or maybe it's a mindset thing and going from working in your business to working on your business? Yeah, I, I love this topic so much, and I love chances to talk directly and personally to, to to business owners and entrepreneurs who are who are trying to navigate this because it's it's really common for people to start a business mm -hmm. to see and experience success, but then get to this point where they are just worn out and worn down because they're doing too much. But the business is working from the outside looking in. Things yeah. things look like they're going well but the mm -hmm. owner is just beat down or the owners yep. are beat down. So there's absolutely a need to be able to work on your business and not in your business as much. Um, the, the, the common things that come up are, and I've, I've heard you speak a little bit about this as well. Um, first, I, I tend to start from the inside out. And so you even referenced it here in this conversation already, how we identify with our business. Are we the business? Mm-hmm. If we feel like we are the business, we got to start there and say, well, if we are the business, the business has a lid, a very, very tangible physical lid. Um, yeah. However, if the business is not us, if we're not the business, then what does it mean and what could it look like to have a business that I am part of and yeah. that I happen to own? And yeah. in that regard, you have to start thinking about, well, who, who else really is needed and who else can do the things that I maybe am needed for right now uh, because we can work on our craft or on our widgets uh, all day and all night and, and in many cases we actually started the business because we loved that thing but the yeah. the mechanics of running a business in the most cases is not why we started the business um, yeah. and so we need some time to get outside of the business or outside of the system that we're in mm -hmm. to evaluate how it's going and if yeah. we don't intentionally make space and time for that thing, then we're never going to really be able to get a good picture of how things are going. What, yeah. where, can, where are my opportunities to even run a decent SWOT analysis? You have to get outside or above your business to do those things. Yeah. And a really common problem that we see in small business is that as owners, we do we wear so many hats willingly. We feel like we, we're told culturally that that's part of the that's part of the gig. You have to wear all the hats and you have to always right. be running. But then we we build our finances in a way often that makes it just work. Like it works mm -hmm. well, um, but we're not like you know um, leaving ourselves enough margin to hire people for us to step out of, of business. So a quick example, if I'm if I'm working away 60, 78 hours a week and I need another widget maker, mm -hmm. but I actually spend all the time making the widgets, my, I, I'm an owner. So I'm not, I don't have any payroll costs really built in, any additional payroll costs built in right. to produce the exact amount of widgets I'm producing now. But if I want to step outside in, of my business and work on it, I still need my widgets being made. And so to hire somebody to produce those widgets that's, it's going to feel like all cost because they're just going to produce the things that I was already producing. Right. And so we can we can work ourselves if we're not careful into a financial position where it feels like it's just complete cost to work mm -hmm. on the business, to get out of the widget making. And so yeah. that's a that's a common issue that, that we have to figure out how to work through. Sometimes finances can be a barrier to mm -hmm. realizing that we should and can work on our business. Um, so there are a lot of different layers, um, mm -hmm. but... One of the things that has been helpful for me is to start building in time to not produce the widget or not provide the service. Yep. For me, it started with one hour every Thursday that I committed to just thinking about working on my business. And this also came from the E-Myth, the book I referenced earlier. That he okay. talked about that phrase, <laughs> working on the business and not in the business. That one hour block turned to four hours on Thursdays. That four hours later turned to a full Thursday. And then I got to a point where I'm do, I'm I'm spending almost more time working on my business than I'm working in my business. And then mm -hmm. it became businesses because mm -hmm. I started a transition from business owner to more of kind of entrepreneur. So biggest suggestion for me is when it comes to transitioning into having time and space to work on your business is to just start with a time block. Commit to it 30 minutes a week, an hour a week, whatever you can. And then start to adjust your business to where you can afford to spend and invest that time more and more uh, as an owner and then, you know, entrepreneur.